Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending today's virtual event and spending time watching my presentation on effective product development with PLM. My name is Jason Barnett. I'm the product manager for Advanced Solutions Product Lifecycle Management. A couple of housekeeping items before we get started. If the presentation window is too small, you should be able to expand the presentation by selecting the bottom at the lower right of the presentation window it should look like four arrows pointing out to the corners. If you have any questions, I would encourage you to reach out to me and I will provide my information at the end of this presentation. You should find a PLM 360 brochure for download and you can visit our virtual booth for further information. So my goal today is to outline to you what product lifecycle management or PLM is and how it can make your product development processes more effective. I will give you a quick introduction to the concepts of PLM and Autodesk PLM 360 that Advanced Solutions uses internally and implements for our customers. So first, I have a few quick slides about Advanced Solutions product lifecycle management. Advanced Solutions is a family of companies that resells, creates, acquires, and implements technology for our customers. Those companies include the Design Software Division, which most of you are probably familiar with. It's a full-service Autodesk Platinum partner. The Life Sciences Division, which creates 3D bioprinting technology for the biomedical industry. The product Lifecycle Management, which is the company I lead. We help companies manage processes, projects, and people more effectively. Visual Collaboration Solutions works with touchscreen and mobile collaboration technology. Expedience builds self-serve kiosk software applications, and IDS Engineering develops custom software applications. At Advanced Solutions, we provide a wide array of services, including PLM consulting, process improvement analysis, software development, support, and training. We can truly provide services ranging from basic support to turnkey, complete solutions for our customers. So a few points that make ASI PLM unique is uh, as an Autodesk PLM 360 advisor, we were recognized by Autodesk as one of the few trusted partners to design, implement, integrate, and support the Autodesk PLM 360 platform. Advanced Solutions PLM provides PLM solutions for companies of any size, where more traditional PLM companies were only focused on a limited number of large organizations with massive IT budgets. And with our strong background in process management and industrial engineering, we can help your company discover how Autodesk PLM 360 can enable ways to take control of change, eliminate bottlenecks, stay on top of projects, drive innovation, connect business systems both fast and efficiently. So I just want to share a basic definition of PLM for those who aren't quite so familiar. And this is something I pulled right off of Wikipedia. And I know you can all read it, but I just wanted to point out some, some very important highlights or points in this definition. So products through uh, from inception through disposal. It integrates people, data processes, and business systems and it's an information backbone for companies and their extended enterprise. So uh, let's dig a little bit deeper into product development here. Uh, we know manufacturing organizations all have different cultures and ways of working that they've developed over the years, but essentially they all have the same basic process. And that is once they've developed an initial idea, they wanna be able to take that idea through various stages of development and come through the end of the process on time, on budget, and on functionality. The ultimate goal is to deliver the right product at the right time to a satisfied customer. But in order for product development to be successful, there are vast arrays of activities which need to take place between idea and the product delivery. So there's usually a detailed new product introduction process, which has to be followed throughout the development cycle. Underneath that, there are many sub processes, there's tasks, team and individual activities that need to be carried out. 
And all of this requires large amounts of product related information to enable stakeholders to make good decisions and make sure that they're building a profitable product for the company. Oftentimes, there are numerous barriers and bottlenecks throughout the new product introduction process, which causes delays. Processes are not always fully understood, and the progress of those processes are not always made visible. But people are not always clear on what needs to be done. Too often, this results in projects not being completed on time, going over budget, or not meeting all the requirements initially defined at the start of the development process. With that, customer satisfaction, along with their business, can quickly disappear. So let's take a look at some of the key issues that stand in the way of successful product development. And many of them you've probably experienced yourself. First, looking at process bottlenecks, they're one of the biggest problems and their inefficiencies can occur anywhere. So an example would be the need for a serial sign off of a paper or document based procedure uh, where that paper can get lost or, you know, you can look at uh, the document can get passed to someone and sit on someone's desk. Secondly, information created in one program or process doesn't always get correctly fed into a related process. So a good example is when a change request is created in manufacturing which isn't connected to the engineering department. So again, it doesn't automatically shift over and it can get emailed or sit on somebody's desk, get lost, and that change is never recorded back in engineering. Oftentimes, just a lack of understanding of what the process looks like and what tasks people need to complete cause problems. People are sometimes unaware that they have a task to do because they're not informed well enough of the status of the process or the overall project plan. And finally, one of the biggest time wasters is just trying to find information. And information is often found in isolated silos across the company, owned by others on hard drives, network drives, or in documents. And once the information is found, people have to spend more time just trying to verify that it's correct and up to date. And these are some of the challenges that we see in many organizations. So companies throughout the world strive to reduce the impact of all this to get the right products to market faster. One of the most effective ways to do this is through the adoption of product lifecycle management. A PLM solution is an enterprise package which is designed to manage all of the information, data, knowledge, processes around a product or design project in a single common environment. The types of information a PLM solution manages is broad in scope. There's core engineering data, bill of materials, part information. There's the information about how the product will be manufactured and assembled. Uh, there's product related data typically owned by other departments outside of engineering, such as purchasing, quality, service, sales, and etc. There's requirements driven design. PLM can help manage the task and sub projects and PLM solutions also feature real time reporting and dashboards. All of the processes which drive the product development can also be mapped and managed in real time within this single common environment following the company stage gate process. So product lifecycle management is a solution which brings together all this information and these processes and brings it to the rest of the organization. In other words, PLM brings together that information and those processes associated with all stages of the product's life cycle from initial requirements definition to in service and beyond. It therefore provides a single up to date version of the truth around a product or design project for all stakeholders across the organization. And the value of PLM to many companies can be huge. It provides the whole organization with one common place to go for all the product related information. It also removes waste from processes, allowing the organization to focus on value added tasks and less on time wasting activities. And it removes the need to duplicate data across multiple systems, ensuring everyone is accessing the same up to date information. And this all adds up to benefits such as 
better utilization of staff, getting products to market faster, improving quality, more time for product innovation, and improving customer satisfaction and competitiveness. And all of this leads to being more profitability for the company. So amongst the array of information and processes PLM can handle, there are some key focus areas that it's specifically designed to address. First, it manages the product's bill materials and all the information related to that bill materials. It also has a specific focus on change management in the new product introduction process. It provides capabilities to allow smoother and faster collaboration with third parties, particularly suppliers, bringing them into this single common platform. It also features many ways to address quality aspects, and we have several different workspaces built out for quality. And finally, it helps make costs more visible throughout the development process so we can make sure that the company is building a, a profitable product. All right, so where do PLM solutions fit in an organization in relation to other typical enterprise solutions? Well, typically they fit alongside and complement a PDM and ERP solution. So if we take a look at a typical timeline of product development from requirements through in-service, we see where product data management or PDM fits in. A PDM is a means of managing primarily design data, often CAD files, taking care of different revisions of the data, the assembly structures, and the drawings. Many of you will also have an ERP solution in place, such as SAP, for example. This tends to come into its own around the production stages, so managing more of the operational or execution type information. However, P the PLM system is more of a horizontal solution. Its scope is far wider than both PDM or ERP, and it manages information and processes across the whole product lifecycle. And the key to making these solutions work for you is using the right tool for the right job. So you wouldn't want to use PLM to do something that ERP should do, such as manage physical shipping or invoicing of customers or shop routings. Similarly, you wouldn't use ERP to manage what PLM is designed for, which would be a new product introduction or engineering change management. PLM, PDM, and ERP will typically coexist in an organization, and if implemented properly, they'll They'll comp complement each other quite a bit, pass information back and forth. So here are some examples of how PLM can help you get products to market more efficiently. PLM helps resolve many of the issues which cause bottlenecks due to the fact that processes are managed centrally. For example, if a key authority for signing off on a process is off-site, you can simply log into the company's PLM environment remotely, easily view the information he needs to make that decision, and sign off on the process then and there. PLM also connects related processes and programs, so there's a smooth and immediate flow of information from one to the other. Uh, processes are made much more widely visible so that all the stakeholders in the development of the product can see what part they need to play. And those stakeholders have a much clearer visibility of the status of where the project plan stands and what tasks are still to be completed. A PLM system will also inform them proactively via email alerts. So if they have a task to do or if they know that if they need to know that someone else hasn't completed a task, the system will actually notify them. And finally, rather than having to search through a mass of folders and emails, uh, much less times wasted looking for information and verifying that it's correct. So, in fact, here are some figures from the industry analyst sim data representing the value of PLM to manufacturing or organizations that they surveyed. And I won't go into great t detail, but you can clearly see some significant metrics here, up to 50% in getting products to the manufacturing stage of uh, faster, engineering changes up to 70% faster, product development costs reduced by up to 40%, and a 
a massive amount, 75% to 90% reduction in the time wasted looking for information. And then at the bottom, you can see, you know, expected 10 to 20% overall increase in producti productivity for the company. So Autodesk product is PLM 360 and at Advanced Solutions, we believe that PLM 360 offers some key benefits over the traditional PLM solution which can be quite complex, costly, time-consuming to implement. So first of all, PLM360 is cloud-based. It's purchased via a very cost-effective subscription model. And being cloud-based, there's no expensive hardware to buy and install. There's no internal infrastructure required. You don't have to go out and buy databases for it to sit on. The product is always up to date. So again, no expensive or disruptive software upgrades every year. Another advantage of being cloud-based is that PLM360 is available on any device anywhere. So if your organization is located in multiple sites, this makes collaboration really easy between those sites and very straightforward. PLM360 is available to all subscribers with a full range of capability. So there's no need to buy additional modules as you expand your footprint. So if you start with an MPI process and you decide you wanted to add quality, you don't have to go buy another module. It's all included. And PLM360 has been designed to be easy to configure. So it's very quick and cost effective to develop a PLM environment, which best fits your specific company needs. All right, so I'd like to introduce you to a company called Porex. They're an organization of about 600 people who manufacture porous plastic products. It's the kind of thing you'd see on the end of a marker or a felt tip pen, for example. And they make other products from the medical industry or in the home, like um, air freshener um, products. So <clears throat> Porex is an internationally distributed company and they have product development and manufacturing facilities in several locations. Each one was using disparate project and product development systems that couldn't share product information and processes easily. So those systems were also pretty basic. They were using Excel documents, access databases, share drives, SharePoint, and so on. So synchronizing product development processes and data across international locations was difficult and time consume, consuming, causing some real issues for them. The manual nature of their product development processes across those sites often led to expensive errors. And Porex had an aggressive plan to double revenues in five years. And this, all these communication issues were really inhibiting that goal. So Porex wanted to resolve these product data challenges with a PLM systems that met the following criteria. They wanted something easy to use. They wanted something that provides document collaboration and management. They wanted to include ISO standards for their products and parts, have a low total cost of ownership, high degree of collaboration and integration with existing systems. And they wanted to provide real-time project transparency. And in the end, they chose PLM 360. So now, the users outside of the traditional product development roles at Porex can access all the product they need in real time. So uh, last year they added about 140 users to the PLM system and they're still on a journey with this but uh, already seeing some, some really outstanding results. Okay, I will be hosting a 30 minute webinar series on a quarterly basis. Each webinar will focus on a particular area and include some kind of a live demonstration. So I hope to have you attend future webinars or you can also view the recording on our website at the link at the bottom of the page. And that's about it for me. I'd like to point out to you uh, our dedicated PLM website. Here you can find further information on what PLM is all about. You can also contact me directly with any questions that you may have about Advanced Solutions or PLM 360. And with that, there's my contact information. 
So please reach out to me. I look forward to hearing from you and talking about product development and PLM. And I want to say thank you for attending and have a good day and goodbye.